James DeGale versus Fulgencia Zuniga. Uh, this ain't going to be a long video. I don't really have too much to say about this fight, to be honest with you. Um, you know, Zuniga's an experienced guy, but he's a small guy. I thought, you know, DeGale's performance was a typical DeGale performance. It was okay. You know, me personally, from way back in the day, I've never really been that convinced by James DeGale, even from the Olympics. He's never really impressed me. And in, in the early days, there was a lot of hype about James DeGale, you know, before he fought George Groves. And um, I was one of the people who came out and, and, I said that, and I said that George Groves has more natural ability than James DeGale. And I remember a lot of people flaming me at the time when I said that. I said, I think George Groves is a bigger puncher than DeGale. I think he's got quicker hands than DeGale, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, DeGale may have a better defense than Groves, and you know all, all that kind of thing but I always thought that Groves had more power and just more athletic ability than uh, than the girl and um you know the girl seems to lack that you know, that's that's one of the things he really lacks he don't have that that athleticism that you want to see in a fighter you know he don't really seem to have that af af athleticism about it everything he seems to do is lethargic and I don't know he just don't have that killer you know, edge to him as a fighter that, mo you know, most of the top guys are 168 pounds, super middleweight. They all have that killer kind of eye of the tiger look about them, you know? All of them have that kind of you know, killer instinct, that killer eye of the tiger look. And the girl to me has never really had that. He's always been a bit too, too lethargic in the ring. You know what I mean? And uh, obviously that cost him against Groves. Obviously a lot of people thought he still, you know, won the fight against Groves, but before that fight, the Gales said the fight wasn't going to go four rounds. And most of the Gales fans, most of the people that believed in the Gale, they thought that he was literally just going to walk through George Groves and just blast him out. And it didn't happen, obviously. So clearly, those people was either overrating James the Gale or underestimating George Groves. You understand what I'm saying? And I, I think at the time, I, I saw it as being a close fight. I think I, I picked... The Gale to, to uh, stop Groves late. I think I picked to st him to stop Groves in the 11th round or something like that. And as the fight took place, um, the Gale, I think, did have Groves in trouble late in the fight, although he didn't get the stoppage. So, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I've never really been that impressed by the Gale. He's got a slippery kind of style. Um, you know, he, switch, he switches between Southport and Orthodox. But I don't know, to me, there's just something missing. There's always been something missing from this guy. And that's the same feeling I get after watching this fight against Zuniga. You know, there, there wasn't anything terribly wrong with his performance. Um, you know, a lot of people say that, like the commentators were saying that he shouldn't be on the ropes. And even his trainer was saying he shouldn't be on the ropes. Um, you know, I mean, I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. You know, so I think sometimes it's... Fighters can fight quite well off the ropes, and J James DeGale does have the ability to to do some good work off the ropes. Uh, you know, it's, it's probably not good to be on the ropes all the time, um, but I don't know, man. I, I don't, I, re I don't really see that in itself as the problem. To me, DeGale just lacks. I don't. Maybe it's the punching power, or I don't know what it is, man. He just lacks some kind of sharpness or punching. But I don't know what it is, man. Um, he still kind of slaps with some of his punches. Yeah, and to me, that's down to poor pad work. Yeah, I, I see a lot of fighters, you know, especially in the UK, um, do poor, poor pad work. You know what I mean? The trainers don't teach them how to do pads the right way. And, then, you know, often results in the fighters slapping when they punch instead of, you know, punch, turning the punches over properly. Um, so, I mean, I don't, I don't really have much to say about this. My opinion about the girl hasn't changed um, as far as how, how far he can go. Well, you know, the, the, the top guys at 168 pounds are on the way out, you know. Uh, most of them are a lot older than DeGale. You know, Carl Fretch is, what, 35? Kessler's around the same kind of age. Uh, apart from Andre Ward, right, and maybe Andre Durrell, you know, the, the rest of them, Arthur Abraham, Kessler, Fretch, all, the, all them guys are on the way out, you know what I mean? So... It's, it's, it's definitely conceivable that the girl could get in the mix at world level, right? Um, you know, you've got uh, Arthur Abraham is still a champion at 168 pounds. So 
I think I was talking to uh, you know Wingy about this the other day. He messaged me and asked my opinion, and, and we pretty much agree that the best way for James DeGale to go in terms of getting a title shot would be uh, a fight with Arthur Abraham. You know, he, he he may have enough to deal with someone like Abraham. He's a little guy. He's not really a super middleweight. And, you know, with, with DeGale's awkward, slippery style, he might, be, might, he might be able to mess him around and get a points decision. So well, that's the best way to go. But in terms of Andre Ward and even Frotch, people like that, uh, Kessler, nah, I don't like I don't like the girls' chances right now against them guys. I don't like his chances from what I'm seeing at the moment. You know, I might I might be wrong. You get me? It's just my opinion. It's just what my eyes can see. Maybe your eyes can see something else. You know, and who knows whose eyes whose eyes are correct until he gets in the ring with these top guys. But me personally, I'd be surprised if you can beat anyone like Carl Frotch or Ward or Kessler or any of them guys right now. You know, maybe if he improves, maybe if he shows the sharpness. And that, you know, extra punching power and physical strength down the line. I don't know. But right now, I'm not I'm not that overly impressed with James DeGale. You get me? But, hey, that's just me, man. You know, that's just my opinion. So, um, you know, the performance against Zuniga was okay. You know, it was cool. You can't complain too much. I know uh, Zuniga's been in there with a lot of experienced guys like, you know, Butte and stuff like that. But I don't know, man. I wasn't I wasn't overly impressed. But anyway... Leave your comments in the comment section below. This is Hatman. I'm out.